last episode recap. Let's get you caught up. Previously. I had this idea, why don't I do mythology gods and creatures so I have available subject matter to pull from. Now, going through this, I figured, how can we mark our progress if we don't have someone to critique us? So, I went to the best and asked for the best. You come looking for my guy, yes? Uh, and what are you willing to part with for my employees? services two tickets to disney on ice bring me the one they call the acp yeah that's me my name's rc fartsy i'm one of britain's top art critics it's sloppy mate looks like a power ranger what the hell happened down here oh, for god's sake what is that a hipster centaur pretty chuffed to try the next round right mate safe Hey man, you uh, you down to come over and give me some critiques on my work here? Sorry, I'm actually out of town this week. Hey, sorry man, I can't. I'm busy uh, washing my hair. Uh, Mercury's in retrograde right now. According to my spirit ancestors, they say that I can't keep just providing all this free emotion. All right, well, time to visit the big boys again. That's cute. You did your hair for me this time. Oh, thanks for noticing. You want a fucking kiss? Cut the bullshit. It's so dark in here. Not good for your eyes. You eat a lot of carrots? Vitamin A? I assume you need my guy for another critique. Am I correct in my assumption? Yes. Yes, that is correct. I enjoyed the Disney on Ice show you gave tickets for last time. Quite a thrill. Well, I'm. Glad to hear that. Have you ever seen a giant mouse floating so elegantly across a frozen body of water like he was some saint sent from God? I uh, hadn't thought about it like that, but um, I'm sure they appreciate your review. How do you expect to top something like that this time? Well, actually, I made some money last time from selling the, the drawings to my fans, so I actually have some money to pay you this time. You think your cheap, dirty bills can bribe me into another round of your silly little art party? Come on, man, that's a lot of money right there. Right where? God damn it. Uh, how about... Welcome back, mate. Well, I can't say I'm excited to be back, but hey, when the boss calls you from a remote location while he's getting and while two are simultaneously getting and while on a jet ski, you know, I had to make the trip. Well, I appreciate the effort to come back. Yeah, I had to start taking smaller jobs after my wife left me. Couldn't stop critiquing everything she would wear or do. I'll say. Yeah, I'm still a little confused about how this whole operation works. Like a, a Russian boss, or at least I think he's Russian, hires an English bloke with literally the same hat to come to my garage and make fun of me for however long this video is. 1813. What? So are we doing the same thing again? Uh, yeah, more mythology drawings and you give me feedback. Well, you hire the best.
Okay, first one up here we got Helios, God of the Sun. Pass. Next one. Pass? <laughs> what do you mean pass? I need some feedback. The energy is certainly extravagant. What is he, the God of Sun and Oil Spills? What's going on with the bottom there? He's like super hot up top and like cooling down towards towards the bottom. Yeah, with the red hot head and the spiky hair. What is this, when Lisa Simpson goes Super Saiyan? Now that's how I pay to see a cartoon of. It's not Lisa Simpson. Ha! <laughs> Can you imagine? Simpsons and Dragon Ball Z. I'm, I'm gonna write that one down. Carry on. This one's a little bit different. We got Eros, god of love and sex. Kinky. Which one is Eros? Oh uh, no, it's more like a, an interpretation of what Eros does to people, you know? So Eros melts people's faces into flowers. I'm kidding. Jokes, mate. Come on, I get it. There's passion there, romance, infatuation. They can't get enough of each other. Their spirits blossom and fit together like a puzzle. Yeah. Beautiful. Something like that. Sweaty bodies rolling against each other. But maybe you don't put out your best performance. She tells you it's okay, but really you know you suck. It slowly eats away at you until eventually you lash out at something random. And then she goes to live with her sister and you're left with an empty house and a sweaty hand. Do you, do you want to talk about your wife? My wife's dead. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. To uh, me, my wife's dead to me. Till she unblocks me. How about we move on to the next one? Love is like an empty glass. When it's there and you drink it, you feel full and drunk. You see yourself reflected in it. But when it's gone and you've drank it all, you can either be content about what you drank or you can be sad that it's all gone till you get thirsty again. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I spaced out there. What did you say? I said your painting sucks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, here's my interpretation of Hades, gatekeeper of the underworld. Pretty sweet, mate. I like the beard made of feathers and the underworld garb. Is he playing chess? Chess? What do you mean chess? In his hands there. Is he about to get a checkmate right there? That's a key. You know, like a key to the gates of the underworld. Do keys still look like that? I feel like it's a pretty basic design for something that's supposed to be a gatekeeper. I I think you're getting lost in the details. Who says they're not playing chess in hell, though? What do they do down there, anyway? I, I don't know. I was just trying to, you know, try and the make it... The background sucks. Couldn't draw a proper circle. I mean, you know they have tools for that, right? Anything else? I'd party with this guy for sure. Ah, oh, it hurts so good. Great.
Okay, this one is called a harpy. It's like a half bird, half woman creature, as you can tell. Pretty snazzy, mate. Fierce, powerful, elegant, stylish. Reminds me of someone. Your wife? No. Me. I think I'm gonna need one of those drinks pretty soon. The treatment of this one is bold but delicate. I like the color palette you have there and the transitional tones are quite nice. Messy but controlled. Except for this corner right here. Would you have a stroke or something? Nah, it's, um, you know, it's like, uh, well, the, Yeah, um, yeah, that's what I thought. Do better. <laughs> ACP, you devil. This is Hercules, the demigod, completing his seven labors. Here he is fighting Cerberus, the three-headed dog with the snake tail. This is great, mate. One of my favorites. I like the dynamic of these two opposing forces here. And the two colors make for a nice controlled balance. It's tight, but loose enough to convey the energy being exerted here. And hey, look, you learned how to draw a proper circle. Yeah, this was actually my second try. First one here was kind of a bust. Oh god, put it away, please. Okay, okay, it's gone. Oh, bloody hell, make it stop. <laughs> what a dork. Here we have Odysseus. I wanted to include noteworthy elements from his story, you know, like the Trojan horse, we got the seas and his ship, the sirens, the cyclops on top of the hill there, you know, good stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, the, the fundamentals are there. Just uh, need some work on the balance, rhythm, pattern, emphasis, contrast, unity, unity and, and movement. movement. Yeah, I know, you just listed the seven principles of design. You're not even critiquing me anymore. I am a, a bit rat arsed. You're what? A bit pissed. You're pissed? At me? If anything, I should be pissed at you. A bit sozzled. You're drunk. Trolled. Okay, let me just, uh, let me just call the boss real quick. Wait, I can hold it together, mate. I'm not a pansy like your American, <coughs> Americans. The lighting is, is great. Very, very cinematic. Could see this as like a book cover or something with the title down the side there. It's it's close, but there's lots of room for improvement, you know, especially <coughs> near the bottom here. It gets a bit wobbly and ind <coughs> indecisive, you know. <coughs> oh, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Hey, mate, can I borrow your mobile to call my wife? No.
last but certainly not least, we got Zeus, the Almighty God, in all his glory. Not gonna lie, mate, that's bloody brilliant. I love how he's a part of the whole lightning strike there, striking down on his, you know, his enemies or whatever. Is Zeus a good guy or a bad guy? I kind of feel like he teeters on the line a bit. Didn't he, like, father a bunch of children and then just leave? Not setting up a very good example. Can we just stick to the drawing? What I'm wondering is what's in his other hand off the page there, you know? We can't see and I can make up whatever I want because we don't know and I can't be wrong. I mean, I guess so. A banana. No. Ice cream. No. A hot dog. Hot dogs? Get your hot dogs here, hot wieners. Look, he's even got his hand pointed out. Get them all they're hot. Electrified dogs, put a little zing in your dog. He's not holding a hot dog. I could use, <coughs> use a hot dog right about now. It's a Greek miracle. Hey, hey, Mr. Fartsy. You're drooling on my table. Well, thanks for this, I guess. Um, I'll reach out next time for another round. God help me. All right, there we go. Second round of mythology drawings all banged out. It's fun to get a little Experimental with these bad boys here, try something new each time, you know, push my limits and try and get better each time. If you're really interested in these and you really, really dig one of these or a couple of these, make sure to check out my web store. I got them all up for sale, the original drawings here. A bunch of the ones from last time are sold out, so make sure to pick these up while you still can if you really dig them. You can also pick up some merch. I got t-shirts, hoodies, sticker packs, prints, all sorts of cool stuff to spark your fancy. Let me know what you think about this episode. If you thought it was funny and silly, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm trying out new stuff and just trying to have fun with it, so appreciate you guys. I'm gonna be traveling for the whole month of August. I got a bunch of cool projects all lined up back to back to back. I'll be doing a bunch of cool murals all around the US, so stay tuned for that and a bunch of backlog stuff coming up your way very soon, so Make sure to stick around, and as always, thanks for watching.